so for those of you who do not know me, I am Alec Buchek, I'm the best man. If you're surprised, well, so am I, because I didn't find out about this until last Saturday. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the speech short and sweet. So <clears throat> I've known Charlie for about six years, and in that time, I've only been able to pronounce his name correctly once. <laughs> um, Charlie has always been the type of person who can walk into a crowded room for five minutes and walk out being friends with almost everybody. He is just that kind of person with the infectious personality that draws so many people to him. It might be his accent, or his loud and bubbly personality, that draws so many people to him. But nonetheless, he is someone who will give you the shirt off of his back and send you home with food for a week. And then he'll invite you back the next day. He has always been such a kind-hearted and generous person that it makes me happy to call him my best friend. So, when he told me about the girl that he started dating, I was pretty excited. Oh man, who's this mystery woman? <laughs> and, well, obviously, she's introduced herself pretty graciously. So, Caitlin and Charlie are just such a nice pair, and they balance each other out pretty well. A lot of stuff has already been said about him, but that was not plain. So when Charlie has soccer games that he needs to show up for and isn't responding to any of my text messages, Caitlin keeps him in line and makes sure that he's on top of his stuff. Skip this part. <laughs> Especially when I'm trying to get a hold of him and figure out stuff for his bachelor party. <laughs> And he's radio silent. So, when I see you guys together, you are just so natural together. And it really says a lot about not only who Caitlin is, but who Charlie is, and when you're together. So, seeing who you guys have grown together to be is just even more surprising. <laughs> So you both continue to work together, grow as a couple, as well as who you are separately, and that's what's just so great about who you guys are and what you become. So I'm just really glad that one of my best friends has found someone that not only makes him happy, but also makes him want to be better. And I hope that you both continue to grow together as the years pass by. So if I had my glass in my hand, I'd raise it to both of you. To Caitlin and Charlie. May you live happy, prosperous lives together. <laughs> Um, can impact your life in such a large way. 
Uh, Caitlin and I were uh, put on the same team of teachers, so that decision to put me on her team was in the hands of our principal. So single-handedly, she's the reason that Caitlin and I are friends uh, today. There were two math openings that year on two different teams. Um, my principal put me on the team of Caitlin and five other great teachers, Candace Adams is back there also. She was on the team, we were pretty great. Um, but uh, she thought, Ray thought that I would be a good fit there, and boy was she right. It was not long after that I knew Caitlin and I would be besties. Uh, Reed and I were giving her a hard time, saying her favorite word, which is men, by the way. <laughs> uh, we would also say girl by all the time. She loved every second of that. Miss um, Beth reminded me this morning, she told a story about when Caitlin was in law school. I said, yes, we told Caitlin all the time, oh, you're a lawyer, like, what do you think about this? Um, so we, had, we also gave her a hard time about being too fancy because she had a winery in the family. <laughs> Caitlin and I worked across the hall from one another for two more years. Uh, she was single-handedly the only person allowed to transport me to the hospital when I was pregnant with my daughter. Um, but shortly after that, she tragically left me for Hope, Allison, Julie, and Stephanie. <laughs> and it didn't really like go exactly like that, but it did better. <laughs> But in all seriousness, um, that first day back to work without Caitlin uh, was one of the hardest. Um, it's a little story time. So that February before, I was pregnant with my daughter, and I didn't come back to school until like, I think I had five days left of the school year by the time I came back. So leaving that next August for school was like leaving my baby, you know, for the first time. And I'm like crying, sobbing in the shower, and AJ did such a great job trying to comfort me saying, it's okay, the baby will be fine with the sitter. And I'm like, I'm not crying about Andy. I'm crying because Caitlin's not going to be fine. Who am I going to eat lunch with? Who am I going to talk to? And that it sounds very dramatic. And I it was pretty dramatic in that moment. Um, but, it, but it's all right. Clearly, you can see I survived. So uh, the point of that is that Caitlin has such an incredible impact on everyone she meets. Um, she's one of the kindest, selfless, thoughtful, caring souls that I have ever met. Um, and I'm so blessed to call her my best friend. And then here comes Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's too bad his bumble profile didn't come with a warning label. Although, maybe it's best that it didn't, because maybe we might not be here today if it did. Um, but all jokes aside, I remember Caitlin telling me about Charlie for the first time. I don't remember if it was after your first day or like short, just before. Um, but you could tell that there was something different about her. I would love to tell you that I knew in that moment that he would be the one and we would be here today, but I didn't until I saw them together and I met Charlie in person for the first time. Um, and you could tell that there was something special about them. Caitlin and Charlie complement each other so well. Um, Charlie is just as kind and caring as Caitlin, with a dash of stubbornness and mischief. Uh, but Caitlin does a great job just reining him back in when his ideas get too wild and crazy. <laughs> but the best part about Caitlin meeting Charlie is we also got another best friend. So to all of you here today, thank you for coming to celebrate uh, Caitlin and Charlie with us. To Ms. Beth and Mr. Jeff, thank you for raising my best friend. Um, and to Caitlin and Charlie. I love you both so much. Uh, thank you for inviting us to be a part of your special day. I wish you both a lifetime of last love and happiness together. Let's raise a glass and toast to the bride and groom. Okay, next time I'm going to go first because you guys kind of stole me. Um, yes, first I need to welcome everyone and thank you for coming. Um, my brother Anthony, sister Mary Sue, who have come from a long way away, many other cousins and relatives who have come from a long way, others who have had a hard road to get here, my nephews. Um, so thank you all. It's a pleasure to have you here for this celebration. Um, 
And Candace, yeah, you stole my thunder from Uncle Matt. Yeah, you call him Uncle Matt. It's just a fabulous job today, Matt. Thank you so much. Um, when Caitlin was born, I remember, no, uh, it's not going to be that long. <laughs>